beautiful Sunday and we decided to go out for a walk to the Chambly Pier. It's a pier here well half an hour from where we live yeah. and people are actually walking if you guys can see there. All of that is usually full of water in the summer and they're on the other side as well. You can even see people's footprints and yeah, it's so nice and quiet and calm. It's not that cold today, but it's, uh, it's winter, so we just have to layer up and keep warm. And yeah, we're gonna go all the way to to the end right there. That's usually where the pier ends, right about there. So we're gonna go walk all the way there. We're gonna check out the view. Usually we come visit in the summer and it's full of water and you can see all of the the boats and stuff because it's usually a dock here. Where you wanna go? I am all about adventure times. Another drink and I'll go anywhere the way you smile like a flash in the get some fresh air and some vitamin D because we miss it. Sure you believe me 
and adding the animal print just on its own. I find the background of the prints to be very beautiful and it's just want them to stand on its own. I went ahead and printed the artwork in 8x10. nursery but I can't go in there right now she's napping so I can't wait to try it out in her bedroom and see how it looks but so far so good guys I really like the texture and the pop of black and yeah it looks really good also here next to her bed so what I'm thinking is if it doesn't end up working out in her bedroom then I might just keep it for our master so I finished cutting all of the animal prints they are 8 by 10 and now I'm going to place them inside the frames and see how they look and I also have to find the pillow so I can go ahead and put the pillow cover on it and see how it looks if it doesn't look good then I'll go ahead and return it but I just really liked the color it's just a really nice neutral and I think it was like $10 each of these was like $10 or $9.99. So let's go ahead and put these in the frames. Okay guys, so I put all of the prints inside the frames, but I just wanted to quickly show you guys that you have two different options. When you're placing them inside the frame, you can either place it like this. There's a little bit of a depth between the glass and the print, or you can put just like this, like a regular picture frame where you don't have the depth. Do you guys see that? This one has the depth and this one doesn't. So I decided to go with this one because I just, I just like this style better. I just feel like it makes it that much more special. And then this one is just looks like a regular picture frame. So if you guys would like to see how these once look hung up in her nursery definitely go check out my instagram what i'll be doing is posting a reel on my instagram showing you guys how i hung these so definitely check that out i'll place my instagram handle down below in the description box so definitely connect with me on i post daily content on there and yeah i connect with you guys more often on there so so if you're interested in getting these for your baby's nursery i think it'll look cute even if they're not little anymore i think it looks cute in like a little corner or like a reading nook i think these would look really really cute i however will place them above her crib and it's gonna look really nice i can't wait to see them i've been planning this for like over 12 months <laughs> um and i finally got these printed yes, i really recommend you guys checking out her etsy shop she has all kinds of artwork on there not just animal prints but really beautiful artwork for your home and that's gonna conclude this video definitely hit the like button below if you like this video and hit the notification bell so you can be notified of my future videos thank you for watching